dance down the street with a crowd of your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream and you know Steve, come on! Yeah. That's better, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And what a beautiful day for a show, isn't it? It's absolutely when the sun and gods have come out. It's because we're here. That's what it is. And I'll tell you now, after that wonderful song, we're going to have a special treat, especially for all you ladies. Okay? We've got a young a man who's going to come out here and sing you a song. And when it comes out, I want all you ladies to remain seated. Yeah, please don't rush on to this stage trying and touch him. Because he's at a funny age. Things are liable to drop off. <laughs> okay? You just wait until he's finished the song and he's yours. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to please give a very, very loud cheer for a wonderful singer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Leon! Yay. He's coming over, we're setting the stage. I should have said Lee. The Lee is his stage name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, th he's threatening to marry my mother-in-law. How big a threat is that, eh? <laughs> yeah, he says he, says he, he wants to know what, what would attract my mother-in-law to him. He can open a tin of beans. <laughs> right, we're ready. Let's hear it for, for Lee. father-in-law. <laughs> I'll just move us out of the way in case you can't see me, okay? <laughs> Probably used that guy since 1983 <laughs> and I'll never use it again. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring you on a lovely lady with a lovely voice and killer heels, okay? I've, I first met this lady back in 1982. It was Patelli holiday camp. It was a Sunday and when we got introduced, she sort of gently, she greeted me in a friendly fashion. She hit me so hard I fell off my seat and we've been friends ever since. She's going to entertain you now. Let's hear it for you, ladies and gentlemen, for Red Coat Jeannie. Yay. Oh, hello. Oh. A little bit of Doris Day for you. You won't admit 
you left me. So, how am I ever? You know, you only tell me. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps, 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 perhaps. Thank you very much. But I've just murdered Doris Day on my own, so I'm now going to murder it with somebody else who will sing it much better than me. I want to get Elaine up onto the stage. This is a duet we did for a laugh. So may I say that neither of us actually know the words properly. Um, normally we do it with glasses and words, and today we've got a karaoke mon monitor that neither of us can see. Darling, you're feeding back. Sorry. Uh, and uh, anyway, we'll busk. Go to busk. You're doing the first last. Yes, we'll busk. Okay, Judy, over to you, darling. It's a long lead in this. This will be funny. Thank you. 
Scotland centres. You went to the old record shows. Do you remember the old record shows we used to do? Right. Apart from all the fabulous singing and the dancing, I know I was there, I was, I was that soldier. Um, we used to do sketches as well in, in the record show. So, as this is a special record show, why should this be any different? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn back the clock. And I mean turn back the clock to something that was very special when it was done back on the Gaty Theatre stage. Yeah. I don't have good luck today. I sense something's happening behind me now. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, I hand it over to, a, ladies and gentlemen, I present for your delight and entertainment, a sketch. How's it going? What's up? Yeah, it's going good. good 13 good. minutes in. Good, good. Yeah, she'll like you more then. <laughs> I was late, so she doesn't like me too much. I yeah, I almost wasn't here. Who are you? Are you her son or? Yeah, I'm a son. I'm actually going into your school in May. What? Uh, in May, in, in yeah, in uh, year six. So what does everyone think of her as a teacher? Um, something, well, I think that she can be a bit bossy and a bit strict, but... Yeah, that's my mum. Every now and then she has her, she has her nice day where she doesn't think he's doing. I'm convincing her to have more days where she brings in I'll chocolate and stuff like that, yeah. so she's a cool teacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I helped her by that. Well, not helped her, I was with her at the time. I climbed inside of the trolley and, and embarrassed her in Tesco's. <laughs> so I didn't mean him, but Yeah, no, seriously, I literally like jumped in the trolley. I'm like this big, and I jumped in the trolley. And she's now we're talking, I've got my bench back. Please don't stay at my house, I have no idea who they are. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I wrote a poem about, oh, 1983. And it's a, it's a sad point. It's actually a bit of a true story. It goes something like this, I hope you enjoy it. Have you ever been broke? Just broke to the wide? With what you stand up in? And nothing on sign? Living on scraps for the best part of the week? When you can get them? When you know where to seek? Well, I've been like that on a cold winter's night when the streets were deserted with nothing in sight. But a slow moving Bobby, whose job is to see, the public's protected from people like me. Do you think they enjoy wandering round in his sea or his own? His stomach all aching, a dull ache and pain? I remember the time, it's a long time ago, when I stood in a river below. The last food I had was three days before, and I never expected I need any more. Well, I grip my teeth hard, I put my heel down, on the hand at my rail was to perish to feel. When a whimpering pop came out the fog, it whimpered at me, just a scrap of a dog, with a thin face on a thin scraggy neck, looking something like me, scraggy, just a wreck. A few seconds more and I would have died, but he licked at my hand, I just knelt down and cried. I covered the poor little chap with my coat and I carried him home with one lump in my throat. I took him along to one place I knew where they would give him a bed or a biscuit or two. They didn't seem keen in taking him in but the sergeant in charge with a bit of a grin says well I'll fix him up but how do you feel? It may well have been the state I was in I wasn't too clean. The hunger and the pain I'd suffered all day exhausted my limits. I faded away. Well, they fed me, they slept me, they gave me five bob, and the following day, they found me a job. I've worked ever since, and I've put a bit by. I'm quite well off now, and I don't want to die. I have a nice little house on a quaint little street with a decent-sized garden that's always kept neat. I'm ever so proud of one corner that's there. It stands in the corner all on its own with the pick of the flowers around a little headstone. It bears an inscription that's not very grand, 
The letters are crooked, but you'll understand. I wasn't quite steady, I couldn't quite see on the day that I carved it quite recently. Here are the words that I carved in the stone. Here lies my friend when I was alone, helpless and friendless and lost in the fog. God saved my life with the help of a dog. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry the Tramp, give him a big round of applause. A legend in A light shone in the night, so way your head. Blue turned into green, then it was red. I saw in the night was a penny arcade. Are we ready? Come on! Step up and play each machine seems to say as I walk round and round the penny arcade. Ring the bell! Just ring the bell on the big bag of tail and you'll make all the color lights cascade. And the music play in the penny arcade. Yes, it played and it played, played all the time. Roll up and spend your last time. At first, I thought it a dream that I was in. Lost, lost in a sea of glass and tear. But no, so tip in my head. Back of my jeans. I grab a handful of coins to feed the machines. Are we ready? Come on! Step up and play each machine. Seems to say as I walk round and round the penny arcade. Just ring the bell on the big bag of town and you'll make all the color lights cascade. And the music played In the penny arcade Yes, it played and it played Played all the time Roll up and spend your last time Clap your hands, everyone! Just ring the bell on the big bag of tail and you all the color lights cascade and the music play in the penny arcade. Yes, it played and it played, it played all the time. Roll up and spend your last dime. One more time, come on. Step up and play each machine, seems to say, as I walk. Just ring the bell on the big bag of tail And you'll make all the color lights cascade And the music play In the penny arcade Yes, it played and it played Played all the time Roll up and spend your last Roll up and spend your last Roll up and spend your last time We're going to introduce a, uh, introduce a young lady that uh, you've seen her before, a beautiful young lady with a beautiful young voice. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the lovely Red Cup Genie! Thank you, darling. I hope, please, no. Um, 
May I just say we all seem to be rushing through the show now because it's going very, very quick, but I think we probably need to. I'm going to do a little Nancy Sinatra number for you now, if I can remember the words. <sighs> oh, he started again. Yes, I am, Mr. Trump. Yes, I am. At Danoon Grammar School. And yes, there are a few of my... Any of my pupils are on the pier wave? No. Cheer! Anybody from Danoon Grammar School here? No. I know there's a few. I've seen faces. I've seen faces. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the intro. Okay, sorry about this, just busking, just busking. He can't see the screen, it's his age. It's his age, yes it is. He's saying it's not my age, it's his new my age. Yes, it is his age. He's challenged. Right, you going? Please? Before he die. Right, go Jeannie, yeah? Absolutely wonderful with her Nancy. Right. Why? Wow, we're like, oh, right, someone, yeah. Oh, I didn't know someone was taking a photograph up there. Oh, wave. Right, we're going to leave Je Jeannie on stage. And uh, Jeannie and I are going to oh, attempt, <laughs> if I can get through with her voice, we're going to attempt. Uh, uh, who did this one? Nancy Sinatra no. and Lee Hazelwood. Oh. Oh. And it was also made famous oh, by Johnny Hazel Cash and his wife, June Carter. What's the first time? <laughs> <laughs> Lee Hazelwood. Okay. I can see my mum's house from here. Quite literally. <laughs> Yeah, the 
This is a faraway hell I'm going to Jackson I'm going to mess around Yeah, yeah. I'm going to Jackson Look out Jackson Town Breeze into that city People gonna stop and bow <laughs> All of the women gonna make me Teach you what they don't know How I'm gonna Jackson Better not loosen my coat Cause I'm going to Jackson Goodbye Since the fire went out, I'm going to Jackson, and that's a natural fact. Yeah, we're I'm going, going to Jackson. Ain't it coming back? We got married in a fever. I had a pepper sprout. We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. Jackson, we ain't Enter never coming back. back. There you go, Jimmy. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you very much. Sorry, I forgot my words in the middle of it. I'm trying to do it perfectly. Hello, Derek. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello. I've changed uniforms. Derek, can I swap with you, darling? Thank you. Thank you. I've changed uniform. I've got my red coat on now, but I can't change my moustache. And honestly, lady, ladies, it is real. But a bit of disappointment, a bit of bad news. Our next act has been stuck on the ferry and he can't get here. So we're going to have a little bit of pause unless I can get anybody out the audience to come up here and do a bit. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's lovely. Come up here, young man. Come up here. We've got, well, we've got a volunteer. Here he is. I don't know who he is. Come on, young man. Come on, young man. Whoops, whoops, so Daisy, come on. There you go, come on, there you go, come on. And come on, Who's your, what's your name? Tom, Tommy Two-Stroke. Tommy Two-Stroke, here we are then. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Two-Stroke. Hello, ladies. I know what you're thinking. At last, the eye candy's arrived. I'm going to sing you a song. They call it a cappella, without voice. But I need just some help, okay? So I need to get you, I need you guys to get me started. And it doesn't take much to get me started. So we're going to go bum de de bum de de bum de. Come on, bum de de. Come on, too much not too much bum bum not enough daddy daddy. Come on, we'll try it again. Bum de de bum de. That's it. Good. Sweet violets. Sweeter than the roses. Covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweet violets. There was a young miner who worked down the pits, who fancied a girl who had fabulous earrings and lived with her folks in Loch Gilly. The neighbours all noticed she had a big garden although they were really quite poor 
One of the residents called her a sweetheart the way she looked after her folks. Her father was minging, he'd give you the sweets. Violets sing, sweeter than the roses, covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweets. Violets. The farmer she worked for was quite thrilled to bits, cause just like the miner, he noticed her. He rings and trained her to run his farmstead. The farmer was eager to get her to like him and put her in charge like a fool. And one day she found she'd been milking the prophets and made herself really quite rich. He called her a strumpet, he called her a sweet violets. Sing, sweeter than the roses. Covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweet violets. The next day the farmer was all teeth and smiles, explained he got angry because he had problems and asked if she'd like to be kissed. The young girl refused cause she knew he was Puggled, he sacked her and called for a taxi. She told him to shove his job right up his jumper because she was happy to quit. She belted him one and he fell in the sweet violets. Sweeter than the roses, covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweets. Violets, and so she returned to the boy in Lockelly and offered her love and her rather large bank book. The young miner knelt to propose and went out and bought her a ring for her finger, and with it he offered his heart. She got so excited she let off a Firework to celebrate their wedding day. From that day to this day, have rolled in the sweets. Violets sing, sweeter than roses. Covered all over from head to toe. Covered all over with sweets. Violets. anniversary Buckland's Houghton opened their first campaign 1936 anybody know where that was 1936 80 years ago he opened it in, Ske in Skegness good he opened it in Skegness in 1936 and one of the best things he ever did on the site when we worked there as Redcoats he did all these lovely competitions there were the Miss Lovely Legs the glamorous grandmother anybody ever entered the competitions Miss Lovely Legs the and all the talent shows that were there. What we're going to try this afternoon is if we can get one or two men up. We're looking for men. There is a prize at the end of it. And the cyclists over there, if you win this one, you get a box of chocolates for the missus. So what we are looking for is a knobbly knee contest. We're looking for four or five, four or five entrants to pop up here, pick up a number, and get your number and enter the knobbly knees. Now because we can't have it for men only, we have to invite the ladies as well. So there's a box of chocolates on the end of this, and if you're the only one on stage, you will get the box of chocolates. So any volunteers for gentlemen for your knobbly knees, ladies for the knobbly knees, all you cyclists, come up on stage and show your knees, you've won a box of chocolates. Any, any takers? Anybody there? Any lady, just step on the stage. We want to see your knees, fellas. Roll up your trousers, show your knees, and you get a box of chocolates for the missus. Anybody there? Anybody there? We'll, we'll go on to the next act any second now. All you've got to do, fellas, all you cyclists, all you cyclists have got to come here. Come on, we've got one entrance. Get a number. Come on. You get a number, we've got one entrance. 
You're entrant number one, there you are, okay, but we want to see your knees, so while you're there, get those bloody knees rolled up. There we are. You could win this, you could win this. We've got a winner already. We've, we've got a winner already. Come on, number two. Up on the stage then, come on, up you get. Up you get, come on, up you get. We've got a second entrance. There we are, we've got contestant number two. Ladies, you could win a box of chocolates, gents, anybody? Oh no, oh no. We called for the cleaners at 10 o'clock this morning, not now. They've sent in the shally mates, they've sent in the shally mates. Oh no. They sent in the shally mates, oh. Hang on, it's a knobbly knees entrance. It could be a knobbly knees entrance. Give her a number, give her a number while she's there. Get in line here, get in. Get in, we're number three, get Move down a bit, young man, move down a bit there, move down a bit. We've got three entrants, one of which will win the knobbly knees. Gentlemen, if we could see your knees roll your trousers up, you could win a prize. Come on, Mrs. Wanna come up? Nobly knees contest. Put on stage with yourself a box of chocolates. Any ladies, gentlemen? Three entrants. Right, we've got three enough. Here we are. We've got th three contests for the lovely Nobly knees contest. Here they are. Okay, so make a space. I want to see number one first. Number one, come here. Now tell us your name. Simon. Simon. Where do you live, Simon? Do you know? You live here in Dunoon. You're, so you're one of the locals. You could bloody win this, I'll tell you, you could win this. Right, what we're going to get, what we're going to get is a lady, go around the front, Chrissy, go around the front, and she's going to have a quick check of your knees, okay? What doesn't check, just check, just check his knees out, give him a quick rub, see, make sure he's all right, see what they're like. You're the, okay? You're an expert, oh, hey, no, no dusting, no dust. Oh, thank, thank very much, yes, Simon, thank very much, Simon. And our next co contest, come here, give us your name. Lee. Where are you from, Lee? My mother. You're, you're from your mother. How far have you travelled to be here today? Mary Port in Cumbria. You've come all the way from Cumbria. It took you, what, three, four hours to get here? Yeah. And you come all the way here to be in this red coat ring you and join here. Derek, Derek. Derek. Call in Derek. Urgently to the stage, please. Hair products, man to the stage, please, Derek, if you're there. Right, here we are. You can see his long john to be expecting cold weather. There we are. Okay. And our last contestant, you come here. You come on as the shally mate. Give us your name. Hello, darling. Hello, my dear. Give us your name. I'm Maud. Where have you come from to be here? I'm Maud and I'm bored. You're Maud and you're bored. Well, Steve, can you come along? She's your friend, but come in. Can you have a quick feel of her knees? Can you have a quick feel of her knees? There, there we are. Okay, you stand back. Right. Where's that man? Where's that man with the knees? Ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave it to you, the audience, to judge who has got the nobliest knees and the best personality. Is it contestant number one? Is it contestant number two? Yes. Or is it my, my friend for tonight, number three? Right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Get his number board, stay at the side, they stay at the side, they're two, three either side. So you could come in there, you stay there for a minute. We're gonna get your prize and we're gonna get your number board. Okay, it's Simon, he's a bit of a sport, he's come up here today, he's come with his So there is your number one board. Ladies and gentlemen, and his box of chocolates. Give him a nice round of applause, and it's Simon. So stand stand there for the photo, stand to stand there for photos. Steve on stage for photo, quick photo. If you want a photo, take him now. We're about to leave the stage and our next singer will be on very soon. Okay. Look at the front photograph over there. Right. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Gang. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our knobbly knees. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay, make sure your mum gets those. Okay, Simon. Good man for entering. Okay. 
right, I, I, next singer is busy rolling his trousers down. He's a great sport, he's travelled a very long way to be here this weekend. He's got a cracking voice. And when he's ready, it's our Red Coat Leon. future father-in-law Lee come on let's hear it for Lee come on absolutely wonderful right you enjoying yourself so far that's brilliant you're enjoying it as well aren't you absolutely fantastic isn't it now we'll see when I was looking in the order when I was looking on the running order I must admit I was feeling I was a wee bit confused because it said it said on the running order something stupid and then I looked at the people saying no, I realize they're talking about the song brilliant singers they're going to entertain you once again Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back onto the stage, Red Coach Stevie and Ginny. Oh. Hello again. Oh, that was a fast change. Oh. Right. Can you remember the words? I hope so. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. If you know the words, join your village and help us out. Chance you won't be leaving with me. And I 
afterwards we drop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. On, in Goruk, on the car park, he got up, at, well, he didn't get up, he was doing a gig till one o'clock this morning in Liverpool, he got in his car, he hightailed it up here, we have never rehearsed that song together, so I think we did pretty well, don't you? And this man is my hero, he's my hero, and, he, and my hero is who's surviving on battery acid at the moment and coffee, and very oh, little yeah. else. It's a thought of a fight to get this up. <laughs> Are you a smoker? No, and he's not even surviving on nicotine. I can blame that for myself, but he can't. But hey. I'm, I'm here because I wanted to be with you guys. I, so I, know, I know, I know, I know. And it looks like we're going to get to the show before anything might happen. Uh, but right now, I'm going to invite on my lovely colleague, Elaine. You may have seen us doing our murder, murdering of Move Over Darling earlier. Well, she's now going to show you that she can sing and I can't because she's now going to sing with Stevie and they're going to do a number for you on the stage. Elaine, my darling, you've got to work. You've got to work.
I admire him immensely. He was always the ultimate professional at Butlins. He, we worship, we worship Jimmy. We worship Jimmy. Yes, yes. He may be little, but he's perfectly formed. Okay? <laughs> and it's an honour when Jimmy said he'd do a duet with me because he works with much more professional women than I'll ever be and much better singers than I'll ever be. So I'm very grateful, Jimmy. And we're going to do an island together. Peace unknown. I set up to get you with a fine tooth comb. I was soft inside. There was something going on. You do something to me that I can't explain. Hold me closer and I feel no pain. Every feet of mine. We got something going on Tender love is blind It requires a dedication All this love we feel Needs no conversation We ride it together uh -huh. Making love with each other uh -huh. Islands in the street That is what we are the one in between How can we be wrong Sail away with me To another world Where we rely on each other uh -huh. From one lover to another uh -huh. in the Stuart Ballroom that hold, uh, used to hold about 2,000 people. But there was a certain part of the evening where the Redcoats would, uh, they would all drift about the, the ballroom, all sitting at different tables, getting a wee drink from the handbags. 
And then we used to say to them, all red coats to the stage, so that's what we need now. All red, red coats, coats to, to the, the stage. stage. Brilliant. It's fantastic, all the red coats. Just before we do our au revoir, we're going to go in. Oh, is that pupils? Is this your teacher? I'll tell you. I'm your teacher. Get a little boyfriend. Sha la 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 with Marie who's waiting for me there In a lonely city Where I hang my head In a sap is pretty It's where my baby's at It's a way to Amarillo Every night I've been hugging my pillow Dreaming dreams of Amarillo Sweet Marie Church bell ringing, hear the song of joy that it's singing for my sweet Maria and the guy who's coming to see her just beyond the highway. There's an open plain and it keeps on going. This is the way to Amarillo Every night I've been hugging my pillow Dreaming dreams of Amarillo A sweet Marie who waits for me Show me the way to Amarillo I've been whipping like a willow Right over Amarillo A sweet Marie who waits for me Yeah, the red coat dancers also had another dance, ladies and gentlemen. They had the dance that was called the Alley Cat. I do believe you got a boat called the Alley Cat in here. But if you don't, if you don't know the Alley Cat and you want to do it, just join the red coats on stage for the Alley Cat. Ah, she don't know her from the very start This girl will leave you with a broken heart Listen, people, what I'm telling you She said, keep away from her, run around she way I miss the lips and the smile on her face Touch of her hand and that girl's won't embrace So if you don't want to cry like I do, I say Keep away like I do, I say Keep away from running around soon. We said no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, she likes to drive them around. She loves you and she puts you down. People don't pick me wise. She's 
to close out to the other guys Bought a love story from a guy who knows Fell in love with my love still grows Ask any fool she ever knew She said, keep away from a run around suit Said it now Oh, I don't know what to do now Keep away from a suit Goes out with all the guys in the moral of the story from a guy who knows I fell in love, my love still grows Ask any fool that she ever knew She said, keep away from a running out to you I said at night, keep away from that girl I don't know what you do Keep away from a suit Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Coast and the yeah. Army can't give them a round of applause. Uh, I'm the police tremendous. When the sun beats down and burns the tar upon the river And the tattoos get so hot, she wish her tired feet were fireproof. Queued up. Are we ready? Oh, trying to get the best dress back. Oh, oh, that dancing, running around. Just, just, too much, too much. He's, 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 he's Jimmy. Challenged.
Thanks, it's man. Too Here's a lovely song that's very appropriate hey. down here hey. today. Very appropriate to do. Everybody join in. Ladies and gentlemen, the Danoon Records, give them a big round of applause. Brilliant.
very yet. much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank I'll you. I'll tell you, it's been a pleasure for the Red Coats. I'd like you to show your appreciation because I'll tell you what they've done. Every one of them spent their own money travelling down here to put the show on. I think they've done a great job, and we genuinely are. It's fantastic, and Jim. Give them a big round of applause. The Dunoon Red Coats. Lovely. So we're going to do a song now that we always finished um, on the camp. It was the last, on a Friday evening, it was the Au Revoir. So it's a, a song I'm sure everybody will know and I hope you enjoy it. You should know this one. And you'll know this one. Oh, God, you oh, you'll know this one. But thanks very much to all you to do that. I, thought, I hope you've all enjoyed yourself. I sincerely for Jimmy and myself, Jean and all the red coats. Thank you very much. are bare now and autumn leaves lie thick and still Oh land that was lost now which was so dearly held and stood against them Proud Edward's army and sent them home to think again. Oh, flower of Scotland, when will we see your lives again? That poor and die for your evil. But we can still rise now And be a nation again That stood against them Proud Edward's army And sent them home To think again Let's see your show Oh, flower of Scotland, when will we see your lights again? That for and I for your weeped hell and flame and still against them. When will we see your lights again? That poor and nightfall You'll be with hell and friend And stood against the Proud it was on me And said to To think again 
and sent them home. The nerd, bye bye. Do you think God gave me? Ladies and gentlemen, the fantastic Danone Redcoats! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you.